Thanksgiving, American Thanksgiving Day is nothing to celebrate, but still I hope that ones and ones have a good day. You know, if ones can spend it with family, or if ones spend it quietly alone, and you know, just give thanks and praise to the Creator for life, and 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 pray for those who lost their lives so that others could give vain thanks at sharing and robbery and theft. I have to say that word right there. And it's not just because I have um, native blood. In fact, that's another vid that I have to go into as well. I have a threefold where, you know, there is that connection with the um, certain, certain um, so-called um, native or American Indians, especially the Seminole, the Seminole Indians and, and the Israelites, right? The remnants of the Israelites that are scattered in this region as well. And we see that coming together of the tribes, even among those of our ancestors who were, who were, um, who, who came to, who were brought to the West on those ships because the curses of disobedience. So this is still from a Ethiopian Hebrew, um, a black Hebrew, Ethiopian Hebrew foundation and groundation, even for I and I, so-called Afro-American Rastafari, which are Judahites, I and I's Judahites, and we hail Haile Selassie the first, the king of kings. Now, certain other Israelites from other tribes, the ten tribes, might not necessarily um, hail the king or recognize that covenant to David or the true seed of David upon the throne. But that is a, a related question. What we want to just speak on here is that so-called Thanksgiving, right? Or the American Thanksgiving Day. For I and I, for us, every day is a Thanksgiving. We, we, we rise and shine and we give thanks, you know, to the life giver for life, to he who be who he be, to our power, to Yahweh Eloheinu. In the Moshiach, Beshem Yeshua, in the Messiah's name, we give thanks to the King of Kings in Christ, the Selassie, I, you know, for life. But this day, right, is, is, is nothing to really give thanks or to, um, join, you know, join that spirit. It's a conspiracy, actually. Thanksgiving Day is actually a conspiracy because people breathe together. Right? When we say conspire, to, to, to inspire, conspire, to breathe together. So we, we know what the real roots of Thanksgiving is really about. It's when um, the so-called Anglo-Europeans, um, later to become Anglo-Americans, but actually scripturally, biblically, they're known as the Anglo-Amorites. When the Anglo-Amorites took... Um, Stole, you know, because this is that 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 devil comes to do what to um, steal, to 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 kill, and to destroy, and and we can judge, and people say don't judge, but the scripture says judge righteous judgment. We can judge, right, what kind of a tree it is, based on the fruit of the tree, not just how things look, right, because things that might look similar. Or may not be the same, right? So you hear about Thanksgiving. People say, "Oh, but it's a day to give thanks. It's a day to give thanks." But 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 how did it begin, right? So ones want to be willingly ignorant. And something about this particular day, every time it rolls around, just makes I and I, you know, just just kind of meditate, you know. And some I, I must admit, um, the grace of Abba Father, Beshem Yeshua, in the name of Yeshua you know, has really um, given I that rest for I and I soul. So I'm not so stressed because when you start to think about the injustice that has been done and, and just think about just the the whole tale of injustices that have been done, that are being done. And, you know, for a time, right, in, 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 a, in a short space must continue, right, until all things are fulfilled right so i just wanted to say brothers and sisters, to say a word on thanksgiving i had some videos i wanted to post up but i you know i was going to avoid you know speaking about thanksgiving but that's like 
you know, avoid recognizing that an injustice, right, has been done and avoid speaking, you know, saying some word. This is, this is I and I opinion, right? You could say this is just I opinion. And I and I take it personal, right? You know, because when it happens to, you know, you, you know what I mean? Then you know he who feels it knows it. So we know that this American Thanksgiving Day is 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 to join in that conspiracy, right? That Amorite, that iniquity. That's what it is really, the iniquity of the Amorites. You can look at Genesis chapter 15, right? Because it said that we shall be strangers, right, in a land that is not our own. Right? And we, the lost, once lost, now found black sheep in the house of Israel were brought to this land, right? And had become strangers in this land. And if you look at the whole, the whole context of Genesis chapter 15, speaking about the 400 years, and some um, calculate that from 1619. So it's interesting because actually 1619, 400 years would be 2019 and where are we right now you know 20 2014 right so roughly you know there are um some five years i mean if we use that calculation and some really hold to that and there's some you know credibility in the scriptures and in the history for holding to that particular date vis-a-vis um Israel, vis-a-vis the ingathering, the regathering, vis-a-vis that 400-year prophecy. For I and I, we see that being fulfilled from, um, you know, 1492 to 1992 and 1530 based on the throne of great King David, right, based on the Davidic throne. So I have this pick right here, right, I have this pick right here. And let me just move this over right here. And let's get a, a kind of a broader view right here. And this is one of the reasons why we say that, you know, this is, you know, this is nothing for I and I to, you know, it's not a day for I and I to, you know, join with the pagans, the heathens and the sheathens who want to give thanks for stealing we want to give thanks for murder. We want to give thanks for theft. The, 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 the psalm that keeps coming to mind, right? The psalm that keeps coming to mind about this is, uh, is Psalm, um, Psalm 50. I think it's 50. It's a judgment psalm. Psalm 50, right? Psalm 50. Let's go into Psalm 50. Psalm 50 is called Israel. It's an arraignment psalm, right? It's an arraignment psalm, right, for Israel, right? It's an arraignment psalm for Israel. And if if you will, I'd just like to just read through it. I'm reading from not the King James Version, but the, the so-called Hebrew or Jewish to Helene. So I'm going to just read this. It's a plain reading. A psalm of Asaph in Psalm 50. It says, it says, El Elohim, the, the power, the power, the true power. Yahweh, he who be who he be, have spoken and called the earth from the rising of the sun to the going down thereof. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, Elohim has shined forth. Eloheinu, our Elohim, our power cometh and doth not keep silence. A fire devoureth before him and round about him. It stormeth mightily. He calleth to the heavens above and to the earth that he may judge his people. Gather my saints, my Kedoshim, my Kedusan, my holy ones, set apart ones together to I. Those that have made a covenant with me, with I, by sacrifice, and the heavens declare his righteousness. For Elohim, ki Elohim, for he is judge, Selah. Hear, O my people, and I will speak, O Israel, 
and I will testify against thee. Elohim Eloheka Hanoki. The power, thy power, am I. I will not reprove thee for thy sacrifices, and thy burnt offerings are continually before me. I will take no bullock out of thy house, nor he goats out of thy flocks, out of thy folds. For every beast of the forest is mine and the cattle upon a thousand hills. I know all the fowls of the mountain and the wild beasts of the field are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell thee. For the world is mine and the fullness thereof. Do I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? Offer to Elohim the sacrifice of thanksgiving. And pay thy vows to El Elyon, to the Most High. And call upon I in the day of trouble, I will deliver the eye, and thou shalt honor I. But to the wicked, Elohim, the power, saith, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou hast taken my covenant? In thy mouth, seeing thou hatest instruction and castest my words behind thee, when thou sawest a thief, I want you to pay attention to this right here for so-called Thanksgiving for the American Thanksgiving Day. This is the inspiration right here for the American Thanksgiving Day, verse 18. It says, when thou sawest, when you saw a thief, like the Anglo-Americans who stole our native people, native brothers, and stole other people's land. When thou sawest a thief, thou hadst company with him, and with adulterers was thy portion. Thou hast let loose thy mouth for evil, and thy tongue frameth deceit. Thou sittest and speakest against thy wendem, against thy ock, against thy brother. Thou slanderest thine own mother's son. These things thou hast done, and should I have kept silence? Should I not keep silent about this? Just let the day roll by and not say nothing. Should I keep silent? Thou hast thought that I was altogether such a one as thyself, but I will reprove thee and set the cause before thine eyes, or set it right, put it in the right order. Right, like order, order, order in the court, judgment coming. Now consider this, ye that forget Elohim. Consider this, ye that forget Eloh. Lest or least I tear in pieces, and there be none to deliver. Whoso offereth the sacrifice of thanksgiving, honoreth I. And to him that ordereth his conversation, his way aright, will I show the salvation of Elohim. This is this is this is the key right here. You know, it says Be Yeshua, right? Be Ye Yeshua, Yeshua Elohim. Be Yeshua Elohim, Yeshua. Show the salvation of I and I, black Lord and Savior, in Jesus Christ. So, brothers and sisters, once again, this um, so-called uh, Thanksgiving, you know, American thing, there's nothing to give thanks about for that. But rather, that one's, one should even fast, if possible. But like I said, have a good day if you were family, you can see your family, so forth and so on. You know, but, but really consider, right? Really consider. You don't want to be as the one that his word says you saw a thief, right? Someone else stole something, right? This is the hypocrisy that's going on. You know, one say no justice, no peace, but you have to recognize that you saw a thief, right? It says that the, that, that the devil, right? The enemy, Satan only comes to kill, right? To, to, I mean, to steal, to steal, to kill, and to destroy. In verse 18, when thou sawest a thief, thou hadst company with him, 
and with adulterers was thy portion. Right? We have to check this out because, you know, when we join up in that, we basically are, um, you know, like it says, furthermore, you know, we're letting our mouth loose for evil, you know, talking about, oh, Thanksgiving, it's just a holiday, you know, to give thanks and, oh, forget about the past, you know, that's letting your mouth loose for evil, right? And your tongue is framing deceit, right? And one sit down, right, for the thanks taken me on, they speak as against thy brother and they slanderous their own mother's son, right? I mean, that's, ah, <sighs> ja. That's the far right. So hopefully ones will love this instruction and won't cast this word behind them because this is Israel's arraignment. Once again, brothers and sisters, Shalom Ras Tefari.